G'day everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create a template for your te technical joints. So here is a sample one. I'll be showing you a basic, just the basic border and the title block. How to create the border and the title block. And here is a sample printout as a PDF format. So I'll keep the tutorial short and just create the basics and if you want to add some more detail you can do it yourself. Okay so we're gonna get started. Okay basically to create a template it's called format uh, right here. So go file new and click on formats and I'm gonna make an A3 template today. A3 and give yourself a name, a template name. And click OK. And just pick an empty page and select the right size. We're going to make an A3 one today. A3 is uh, at 420 mm by 297 millimeters. Okay, so when you start, there's a, an empty page and basically to create a template we're going to use tables you can't sketch lines we actually can sketch lines but they, they they don't snap on really well you can only snap on the edge the corners of the page so i'll just create a table and show you what i mean so click on table insert a table i um, inserted a one cell table if you zoom in it's really small so we're going to make this a really large um, box, we go to height and width and enter, enter the values here. For the height it is 297 by 420, that's the size of the A3 paper. And because the border is 10, 10 mils thick, we're going to minus 20 for each, each of the the length so that will be 277 and 400 and to move just drag the corners to the right place and to be more precise we're gonna click move special and click a point to um, use that as reference so I'm gonna pick the bottom point here bottom left and if I press 0 and 0 it will be right on the corner of the bottom point. So if I press, I put 10 here and 10 here and click OK, that will be exactly 10 mil border around the page. Okay, now we're going to start to produce the title block. For my title block, I'm, I'm designing it to be 4x5, four 4x5. By five, four by and click to place the title block so just give it a new size here i'll give it about 30 for, for each 30 30 and it extends that now we're going to adjust each of these blocks to the right size so you, you can select the whole row by clicking on the far left and adjust the the dimension individually so I have the first row to be 15 this is 5 this is 15 I think this is 5 let's put 5 here and the bottom row is 15, that's so actually 10. It will be 10 for that bit. Now we'll go to the rows, we'll make this row 15. Fifteen again. And that one is 60 and 40, so we put that 60 
and 40. Last one's 40. So you can put your own dimension for this one. But now I'm going to put in the label. So over here it's title. To put in the label, I can put, I can double click the box and add the text. And also you can go to style and change the height here. And I know this is 3.5 because it's the style format. Actually, I'll make that 2.5. And here I'll put scale. size so just go in and enter the text to order and the last one is sheet and I'll select all of that and change the size of the text it's all 2.5 Okay, now I'm going to show you how to merge the boxes. Just select all the boxes and press merge and become one. And I'll be merging all of this together. And also you can, what you can do is hide the, the lines. You can go click line display, click on blank. You can blank out the lines. So I'll keep my design really simple and blank out many of the lines and click OK um, there's no OK button but if you click another button you go out of it and press the middle mouse button you go out of that as well now for the rest we can add a text here I'm gonna put Creo parametric for the main text you can put it in the center and I'll make this 5 and change the font as well. I'm going to put Leroy and put it there just like that. And also be aware there is a range of inputs that you can use that automatically puts the information in. So I have these here. For scale, you put the end sign and scale. For size, we will use which is the size, it's format, the paper size, so we'll put that there for drawings it will be, I'll oh, skip the one, we'll leave that one out I'm not sure exactly what the, the name for that is for sheet, it's, I'm gonna put this, it's current sheet off total sheet, so we'll show a number for that and I think that's about it too. So we'll adjust the size for these text. So double click. No, no, no. You go text style, yep, that's right. And I'll make that 3.5. And I'll put these into into the center as well. Center middle. middle align and for the last one as well just to make it look nice and right okay now um, we've got to change the colors of these lines and the size to do that just select, select the table you can view the table here and you can I think you go right click or maybe get out of that To change the color of the lines, you click on un unselect everything, click line style and select draw a box around the table and click OK. You change the color over here, I'll make it black and I'll give it a width of 
one and apply and that close that and should apply that to the sheet and similarly over here we we'll select the lines and we'll change that to black click OK and I'll put give it a thickness of 1.5 and click apply actually was that 1 or 1.5 I'll try 1 and close yep yeah it should be always one now for the text um, once i'm done i'll click done i'll change the text color as well go over here change that to black and click ok select everything make sure you select everything and try that again yep there you go Alright, so the next bit we're going to do is we're going to move this table into the right place. To do that, draw a box around it and click special move. And this time I'm going to select this corner and I'll try to put a value in. I'll try to put zero, zero, so it goes over there. Now if I remember my... my paper size the to bring it across the width is uh, we'll try 410 yep so 410 the paper size 420 I'll put 410 it goes there and 10 here it will move up 10 so it sits right in the corner so that's exactly how we want it so that's everything there but before we finish uh, I've got to show you some things about printing to print this as a PDF you need to do a special thing but uh, I'll just save it first here and I'll go create a new file I'll show you how to load that template in so we'll go new file make a sample part we'll go quickly make a sample part now okay so here's the basic shape and we're gonna go um, pull it onto the drawing that we created we'll just go file new and we'll create a drawing Give it a name or anything you like and here you gotta go to empty with template i mean with format so they call it format for template and go look for the templates that you created that one was called bold template and click ok and we'll give it a title and i'll just put extrusion click apply and also give it a number of sheet there should be two sheets so we'll give that okay and so there you go um, to put in your model just click general click okay and click on on the screen and we're gonna put a front view on to hide the brown lines untick that and just zoom in and out so um, there's one more thing I need to show you which is how to print it out there's a few tricky things when you print it out if you go file print and I'm gonna print that to I uh, click OK I'll print that to a, a Adobe file um, the the size just doesn't match up so you gotta go in, you gotta go file print and you check the paper sizes and also um, okay. you gotta go in page here and put the offset on the bottom put 6, we'll try just a 6 and a 6 here and click OK and over here make sure the paper size are right I'll make that a3 which is right that we had that before make that a3 and click ok actually that wasn't pdf switch that to pdf make it a3 and click ok and print that out and the sizes are wrong okay
Okay, I think I found the problem. Uh, switch that to full plot, not on based on zoom. And we try that again. Click OK. Check that it's A3. And we're going to print it to PDF. Yeah, there's a few problems with printing, which is really tricky. Yep, so here it is. This is a problem. You gotta offset this slightly up and left. So when you go print, you gotta go page. You gotta put an offset of about six, six for X and Y, and click OK. Switch it to a printer you like. Make sure it's the right paper size and click OK. Save that. Confirm and we might need to put it in the other direction so try minus six this time so yeah this was giving me headaches before so i'm gonna put minus six and minus six and this time it should be right actually print minus six minus six click ok and i'm going to print it to a pdf save that accept okay but um, it works before you just have to work um, put the adjustment for the offset and it will move the paper in the right place but that's the tutorial for today and you should have something that looks like this for your for your project so that's the end of the tutorial there um, i appreciate if you leave a comment if you find this useful um, add a like like the video so so you can promote this video and uh hope hope it gets more views that's all for today uh, if you have any question, let me know. Make sure you subscribe. And if you have any other question, just let me know. So that's it. Have a great day, everybody.